So to get started, you come here to Alight Motion and you click the plus icon and you select the circle shape right here. So you're going to change it to an oval shape like this and you're going to place it right here. Okay, so using the move and transform, you can make sure you center it and now we can add a color to it. So here we can select the color we want. So we want it to be like a greenish color. Next, you come here to add another circle shape and this time around, you're going to expand it like this and you place it right here. And you also make sure that it's at the center using the move and transform too. So once you've done that, you're going to come here to add a color to it. So right, you come here and you select the gradient color. This time you're going to use this gradient color there and position it like this. And you come here and select the white option here and you come and change the color right here you make it the greenish the kind of green that you want or you come here to pick two and you pick out the color from this previous green that you've used so you can see it so now we'll come here to effects and we're going to add effects to the first circle and you're going to add the glow effect so right here you can adjust the settings like this all right so now you also come here to add another effect so this time around we're going to use the edge glow so the edge glow is going to give it another kind of effect and then we're going to add another effect to this which is the inner glow right so you come here to select this inner glow right here and you can adjust the you know settings like this So next you're going to come here to this first circle you copy the effects here and you place it right here in the second circle then you come here to add a circle right this time around it's going to be an overall kind of shape you place it here used to serve as the eye right so here you can adjust it place it right here and once you place it right there you can come here to add a color right you can pick the color you want from this place and then you come here and copy the effects here and you use it here and paste it here on this place right so you can see then you can also come here to make a few adjustments right here to the alpha and you can make any other adjustment that you want if you really want to okay so you can also make changes to the inner glow like this so once that is done you come here to add an effect here so the next effect you're going to be adding here is the wipe effect so you come here to add effect and you select the search for wipe right once you type wipe you can see the standard you select standard and you come here to click on it you change the angle to 90 degrees so once it has selected 90 degrees then you can come here to add some keyframes at this end so you add a keyframe here on the start another keyframe here on the end Alright, so this is how you keep doing it. You add at the start and you also add at the end. Okay, at the same spot. You come here again, add at the start, add a keyframe at the start and come here at the end and add another keyframe on the same point. And lastly, you would come here to the next spot again and add another keyframe somewhere around here. Okay, you come to this point here, add at the start and also add at the end. The keyframe at the start and also at the end so once you've done this so you come to the center keyframe which is this the one at the center right here so once you come here you come to the end and you're going to reduce the percentage you come here and reduce the percentage to about 40 something or 50 so you can go with 48 or 49 right 49.8 okay so now you come to start and you also adjust it like this so it's going to look like it, the eyes is closing all right so once you've done something like this you can see what it looks like all right so you can go ahead to add a graph to it at both ends and then you can check it out to see what it looks like see that so you can also come here to add a gaussian blow or a directional blow we'll add a directional blow 
so directional blur is going to give it like a motion effect so you come here to increase the angle like this to about 90 90 degrees and then you can see what it looks like so you can check it out to see what it looks so once you've been able to achieve this then you'd come here to copy this copy the layer you duplicate the layer and then you using the motion the move and transform tool you come here and place it right here so once you check it out you can see now it fits in well so now the next thing you need to do right here is to come here and group all of these together so the goal is once you're done with one part you group it the next is you come here to create a shape a box shape like this you increase the radius like this and you come here to the color using the pick color tool we are going to use adjust using the gradients you're going to use this circular gradient and then you select this color right here so it's gonna look cool right so once you've been able to achieve this then you come and add some effects so basically we're going to add a few effects you add the edge glow and then you can make changes to it just like as i'm doing right here so after that you can come here to trim out this end right because the reason why i put it very close to the other one is so i can be able to pick out the colors right from the other shape we created so once you be able to do that now you can come here to add a box shape like this you're going to change the color right by using the pick tool here and then you add an effect so we're going to add a 3d cube effect to this so once you be able to add the cube effect you come here to scale in to scale it out rather you come here to scale it out this way it's going to increase the shape and you come here to make changes to the rotation right and you can add the rotation of three on the x-axis and 45 on the y-axis you can also add a little bit of change to the orientation like this and once you've been able to do this now you're cool to go right but then you can still make other changes for example you can change the crop if you want but then i don't think it's necessary you can also change the light source if you want to but um, i also don't think that's so necessary to you can increase the intensity but once you've done all of all these things then you come here to rotation and you add a keyframe right here and another keyframe right here on the y-axis so you're going to do a minus um maybe minus 100 and something there and then you can see the rotation then you also come here again and add another keyframe and you know change the rotation angle of the y-axis so you come here to select the box right here and you're going to add an effect to it so we're going to be adding a glow effect to it and you're going to choose color by using the pick tool right here and then you're also going to be coming here to reduce the hardness a little bit all right and once you've been able to do all of all these settings you can see what it looks like so once you're good now the next thing to do is come in here to you know add the text so we're going to be adding the text right here you just select select the white color and you choose the font style you want and you're going to place it right here you can adjust the text by using the move and transform and of course the scaling and scale out too like this so once that is set and good then you come here to add another effect to the text so you're going to use the glow effect right here selecting the green color using the pick tool and of course you're going to reduce the hardness on the text so you come here again to add a shape so you're going to add around this rectangle right here and you're going to place it at this point increase the radius and once you increase the radius you're going to place it right here so you're also going to change the color of the shape also so you come here and you change the color using the pick tool so selecting a color from the background so you come here and you select this so next you'd come here to add some effect to it so basically we're going to start with adding the um edge glow effect so once you add you're also going to add some other effect right here this is going to add some cool um feel to the the image right there that you just added and of course this glow effect is going to give it another interesting feel so once that is set then you come here to use the text to 
right here so you're going to come here and type purchase okay so you use a white color set the fonts that you want and of course you come here to place it so we're going to use the um adjust the text um the move and transform to, to adjust the text and it's going to look like this so once that is done you come here to select the text and then the rounded rectangle you come here to hold it and you group both of them so once you group it you're going to add an effect to it by just coming here to add a keyframe right here on the scaling tool right here so we're going to add more keyframes right here at this point and you also add another keyframe here so at this point here you're using the scaling option you're going to zoom in and then you come here again and zoom in so you can see the feel that it gives it like a balance feel right so once this is done then you're good to go you're going to come here and you go ahead to check it out so well, first of all you're going to come here and select this and you cut off this end you cut it out so and then you come here to also group it so once you've done this then you're cool and good to go so we'll move over to the next option right here so at this point we're going to be adding a circle right so why i always like placing it here so that i can use the pick tool to select the color i want right so you use the gradient tool and of course you select the color from this other shape right there so once you've been able to select the color then you're good to go so you add an effect to it so basically we add some similar effect that we've added before and once you need to add the effect and the glows to it to give it some interesting feel then you make all of all these adjustments so once you're done doing all of all these then the next thing to do is come in here to move it like this so that it starts on a whole different piece right so you come here to select the envelope option shape right here and then you would also add a color to it and you can also add some effect to it so basically you come here to adjust it first and place it right at the center of the circle once you need to place it at the center of the circle then you would come here to copy this effect and you paste it on the shape that you just created the envelope shape then you see what it looks like right so once you've been able to do that then you can see the result so you come here and you split this at this point by coming here to hold the two points right here you come here to select the two shapes and then you split at the center so once you split to select this other shape you delete it and you bring in another shape right here from the sh the you know shape tools so we're going to select this particular one and so very easily you just come here without much stress you come here to the first shape that you created the envelope shape you copy the layer including the styles and then you come here to the other shape you created this particular one and then you come here to paste the style once you click on paste everything there will paste the shape the location the color everything will be set for this one so once you just click on paste you can see the result so you're good to go right so once you've been able to do this then you can come here to cut this out the part that are not necessary by just coming here to select the two shapes and then cutting it out like this so once this is good and done then we'll move over to the next so at this next point we're going to come here to add another box shape this box shape is just going to be like another float in um effect we'll be creating so using selecting the rounded rectangle you just come here and place it right here and you're also going to be using the radius increasing the radius like this all right so just as you have always done you come here to make changes to the color all right and of course you use the um we're going to use the circular gra gradient and then you would change the white color here to the green by using the pick two option right here to select the green from the background and then you place it right here so once you're good to do you're good to go make sure that the green is quite visible so you have to bring in bring it in like this so at least we can have a feel of the green all right so once you be able to do that now we are going to come here and we are going to add a circle to this so once you've added a circle you come here and you place it right here at this point here okay so you or before then you have to also come here and add some effect to this rounded rectangle 
will add some glowing effect to it all right so you basically can just come here to paste any glowing effects from other shapes you created and then you can also do some adjustments by yourself right so this is what i'm currently doing i'll just make a few adjustments to all of this edge glow so that it's prominent and it makes more sense okay so once you've been able to do things like this you can increase the spread or reduce it or you can increase it a little bit and then you come here to the circle now this time around you're going to set a color for the circle like this so we're going to select a circle from a color from this point here all right so once that is done you're also going to be adding an effect to the circle right so you come here to effects and you come here and paste the effects from other shapes right here and you can see the circle begins to glow so once you've been able to do that then you come here to add this and um, thumbs up right here all right and then you place this right here so you select a color and of course you also add an effect just like the other ones that you've created so once you've done this you come here to paste effect again and you can see things like this so next we're going to do is going to come here to add the text so adding the text is now more like um a wrap up you come here to add order confirmed you're going to write it here you select the white color if you've not and then you select the font you want to use and using the move and, tra move and transform tool you can you can come here to scale it in to adjust the size and then you you position it right here okay then you add the next text you add the next text right here so basically this is super easy just adding the rest of the text to it you've purchased your item so once you've been able to write that you come here to place it right here okay so using the move and transform tool you adjust it like the other one and you just place it right here okay so basically once you're done doing all of all these things and you've added the text and all so the next part that you need to know how to do you can do that on CapCut right you can just bring in all the you can save this document or this video right and take it to CapCut and start adding some interesting animations to them all right but before doing that you come here to group all of all these things once you're done you make sure that everything is well placed you right and then you group it so you come here group all of all these you group them and you group them so we then go ahead to save it before going over to CapCut to finish up the editing.